बजरंग दाल कर्नाटका कन्वीनर सुनील के आर टर्म द हजैब कंट्रोवर्सी हजैब जिहाद एन अलेज द कॉन्स्पेरेसी बिहाइंड दी ऑन गोइंग रो Speaking with India Today TV on Wednesday, the Bajrang Dal leader said, "There is a conspiracy behind the hijab controversy. Hence, we are calling it hijab jihad. We are speaking on this issue because anti-national forces like Popular Front of India (PFI) and Social Democratic Party of India (SDPI) are active on this issue," Sunil K R said. He also said students should wear a uniform. Meanwhile, Vishwa Hindu Parishad (VHP) member Purnima Suresh said, "These girls are trying to send a message by wearing hijab that we are different. They are creating a divide, hence it's jihad. Those Hindu and Muslim girls who used to eat together are now looking at each other as different. This is the problem," Purnima Suresh said. At some places, hijab was allowed, but these girls started a fire which engulfed the entire state. They have also asked for a probe by the NIA, Purnima Suresh said. The comments by Bajrang Dal and VHP leaders came on the day pre-university and degree colleges reopen in Karnataka amid the ongoing hijab row. The spat between students and college authorities were reported from several areas after burqa-clad girls were asked to remove their hijab and sit in the classroom. Amid tight security with policemen deployed in and around pre-university colleges at many sensitive places, the day saw a section of Muslim students remaining adamant not to remove the burqa, let alone hijab, the Islamic scarves. Meanwhile, Section 144 has been imposed in Bagalkot, Bangalore, Chikkabellapura, Gadag, Shimoga, Tumkur, Mysore, Udupi, and Dakshina Kannada. The row over girls wearing hijab was triggered on January 1 when six girl students of a college in Udupi protested against the college authorities for denying them entry into the classroom while wearing hijab. The full bench of the Karnataka High Court where the girls had petitioned is hearing the matter on day-to-day -day basis.